welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we will learn some surfacing tools in solidworks i hope you like it so let's start to create this simple model and with the help of this model we will know how to use this solidworks surfacing tools in tools here so let's start to create we will try to cover all the tools here so let's start now let i'll go to file new and i'll select here part and click okay now this is the solidworks browser window or interface i'll choose some basic settings now here let's start to create this simple uh, i'll select here right plane a sketch uh, i'll do some basic with the help of some basic sketch i'll select here three point arc and i'll start with origin point up to here right click ok now let me define 100 millimeter and let me define the gap 115 millimeter ok now let me define the vertical length 10 millimeter now see this drawing is fully defined so I'll directly right click on the command manager and choose your surface go to surface and select extruded surface now you can see here how it's going let me select 30 millimeter one direction and select 30 millimeter in other direction or even you can directly select here mid plane and condition and keep 60 it will go in both direction okay now that's it now i'll select here top plane a sketch normal and here we will make the uh, next part i'll select here one circle and i'll make one more circle here i'll select line connect here and i'll make sure these lines are vertical now let's define 35 millimeter 20 millimeter and let me choose this gap 40 millimeter right click ok now select both the circle center point and origin and make one relation vertical now it is comes in one line a smart dimension and let's define distance from here to origin 35 millimeter now it is near to center so this is what we like choose here trim entities power trim just drag and it will trim see here okay now this corner there is sharp edges so we will make little curve so choose your fillet 12 millimeter let's say select this corner point okay now that's perfectly fine now just go to surface select extruded boss base see here now let me extrude up to 40 millimeter see okay let's keep 40 millimeter now select here ok now see this unnecessary part we want to trim so how we will do this one so this is a very simple thing just go to trim surface this is the important tool in this is the mostly used for the trimming purpose now trim tool first you need to select a plane as a reference against which you are going to remove so i'll select this plane and remove face so i'll select this see it is easily selected and here select remove selection so this selection going to remove keep a standard and natural okay now see it's trimmed now i'll select again trim surface now we want to trim this mid one so here the body is already uh, okay our trim surface selected even you can clear here and here you can select this body and select this 
because this body we selected as a reference and we have two options see orange and pink so anything you can if you select this one it will trim uncheck so only the middle portion we need to trim okay now see that's it now it's time to close this one we have ma ma many options like uh, let's say plane surface select one two three four five and the last one now see it's going to cover choose ok that's it but let me choose one more new method delete i'll select here 3d sketch choose your line and connect this end to this end escape now go to surface choose your boundary surface i'll select this line and this surface see is going to complete okay now the same thing i'll repeat again 3d sketch line and i'll collect these two line points escape exit and choose your boundary surface now here we selected the line and select this edge clear and again select the line sometime need refreshment but here one problem you can see you will see here it's going out out of this direction so you will choose here direction 2 select direction 2 and select this curve now see it is trimmed the same thing you will apply see you can see preview is going from outside so just select so this is called a boundary tool this boundary we selected here now you can see the clear picture okay that's it now the last one let's try 3d sketch line and i'll connect this point to this point exit boundary surface this line this line uh, better do refresh and try some sign unnecessary things selected and we will be mesh we will be in mesh okay now see the last one so the last one and uh, curve here you can select flip see once you select flip control menu it will comes here okay now the things are perfect now it's time to uh, now you will see here how many bodies one two three there are multiple number of surfaces before applying thickness you need to uh, make one body so how you will do here one tool knit tool combine two or more adjacent non intersecting surface together I'll select this one and I'll select the whole body select this one also so the whole thing is selected here select ok now you can see here here only one body before six so now it is ready for the thickness but before applying thickness we need to do some more things here uh, let's apply some fillet 4 millimeter and I'll choose this surface this surface 4 millimeter okay now look that's perfect now here we need to make a, a little curve not sharp edges so what we will do I'll select top plane a sketch and uh, select this all edges click convert entity now see it is converted fill it ok let's keep 20 millimeter select this rectangle now it is applied at all corners ok ok now simply exit and here one one option 
project curve select project curve we want to apply this sketch on this surface i'll select this one keep direction upward direction because our sketch in below the this surface so here we selected the sketch and the face face where we want to apply this so you can see the preview here okay now see trim surface now here select this line for the reference purpose or for the boundary purpose and remove selection i'll select 1 2 3 4 now see how the easily is this pink thing pink color going to remove okay now that's it even you can hide this select this line hide now see now let me apply thickness here uh thickness so i'll select the full body and thickness it's 1 mm is sufficient but here it is asking thickness in both side no we need thickness in one side only let's say upper side okay now look see so here we covered uh, many tools uh, surfacing tools in solid works i hope you like it uh, in next tutorial we will try to cover other tools now let me apply some material we applied here if you will go to metal the galvanize and brushed galvanize now looks it is galvanized sheet see i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our videos and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works Thanks for watching.